Rainforests are a great blessing to humanity. They bring life. They provide habitat, clean air, clean water. It's a wonderful gift from God. They're not just an extraordinary gift to humanity, they are the basis of ecosystems which are unique. They are rainmakers, they are weather engines, uh, they're providing uh, all sorts of materials, fibers, um, um, they're a genetic bank uh, for the planet. Forests are uh, the home to some of the richest biodiversity and some of the richest uh, human communities around the world. When you spend a few days in an old growth rainforest, you kind of realize what it means to be human. There's 1.6 billion people who live off of forests. 60 million of those are indigenous people. These people depend on these natural resources, including the forests, to live. Most of indigenous peoples in Indonesia, uh, their life is uh, depend on the forest. The forest is, is their supermarket. So you can, you can imagine if your supermarket just disappeared. The illegal deforestation, as I call it, that is currently going on in the world already accounts for about 15% of global warming. drive past some area that's been, been deforested or when you fly over it, it's, it's gut-wrenching. When we deforest, we're losing species whose habitat is in those forests. We will be destroying the livelihoods of millions of people who have been the custodians of these forests, who have used these forests sustainably. There's no reason for the deforestation other than corruption and uh, misuse of resources for very short-term, very narrow gains that then lead to large, large losses for the rest of us. The cost would be catastrophic because forests are the lungs of the world. It would affect all of our climate. It would affect rainfall. Uh, it would affect drought. It would affect so many people worldwide. There's an economic cost in terms of the impact of drought, uh, food insecurity, and therefore political instability. Our natural resources will decrease. Global warming will increase. So the planet itself will suffer a lot. That means a lot more risk to human health, devastating consequences for coastal communities and infrastructure, uh, massive effects and impacts on the most vulnerable populations. Turn that round though, if we do protect the forests, it is the single quickest, biggest thing we can do to mitigate climate change. All leaders in the world recognize that the remaining rainforest in the world is of global significance for world prosperity and that we therefore all have a responsibility to collectively create the conditions to protect the remaining forest. Whatever cost, it's much more than you can imagine, but it is much more about taking care of our planet as we should. It is the right thing to do. Forests could be the example of this connect, positive connection 
between poverty reduction, development, and environment protection. And so if we don't accomplish this, we will ultimately not be able to end world hunger and doing so in a sustainable way. There's about two billion hectares of degraded land in the world. We must not think that technology is the only thing that will save this planet. By reducing emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and eliminating deforestation, we double the chances that we can keep warming within two degrees centigrade in the next century. It's not, are we going to protect? It is, how are we going to protect them? And how fast are we going to get there? We already know how to do it, but we really need to work harder. We're now seeing around the world uh, it is possible to protect rainforests and increase your economy. In particular countries, right, we have seen astonishing rapid change. It's a message of real hope. So a lot of good things are happening. The challenge, though, is they're not happening fast enough. There is a lot that we need to do in order to keep this planet forested, to keep economies growing. And these are problems that we know the solutions for. What is less clear is whether we will have the political wisdom and commitment to actually stop what is so dangerous. Ending deforestation is possible if we mobilize the political will. Ending deforestation is possible if everybody plays their part. Government, civil society, and business at large. I think countries need to put aside their individual um, interests. I think deforestation is something we can end on our watch in the next few years. I think if we can protect the rainforests, we can protect the world. The destruction of our forests is terrifying. Deforestation is changing our climate, harming people and the natural world. We must and can reverse this change. The time to stand together and ask more leaders to stop the madness is now.